How do you get outdated content or links removed from Google? My name is Stephen Pope and I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. So not very often I shoot non-related Amazon content, but this can be topical to Amazon sellers as well, especially if there's a detail page on Amazon that you're out of stock on, never planning to reorder it, perhaps it is discontinued, and you wanna get it removed from uh, Google search results so that other items can show up higher. This is also pertinent to those who have had a video or a website or any kind of article that used to be live on Google and you want it taken down. So uh, in this particular instance, I did a, I did a video session with another um, agency resource and the quality of that video was a little eh, not so great. So I asked, actually asked them to take it down. So I'm not trying to target them in today's video. It's just more of a fact to show you why I'm doing this. So if you go to the remove outdated content section in Google search help, it gives you all of these instructions. You go to the remove outdated content page, you enter the URL and you select request removal. So I just did that for these two links. And you can see, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit over here so you can see a little bit better the, the pending request that I have uh, for this issue. And it's really basic to submit a URL. You just grab the URL here and type it in and just hit request removal. It will then um, give you kind of a immediate guidance on whether they think it will be removed. And in my instance, the URL is broken. The content is down, same thing on this one. And, uh, and so Google basically said, yeah, we'll probably end up taking this one down, uh, but they do uh, a, a typical human review of it as well. So in this particular instance on Google, if you type in my Amazon guy, these links are still showing up on page one. You can see one right here and one right here. And, and so after this is successful, these two links will go away. And the benefit, of course, is then I can control what's showing up on page one results of, of my brand name, and that can be very, very beneficial. Um, and, and for an Amazon reference, let's say we wanted to do this for Amazon. So if I go to any Amazon detail page, so I'm gonna pull up one for uh, my side hustle brand called Momster. Let's say that this particular item was out of stock. So I would come over uh, back into the page to do the removal. Let me see if I can go back to Search Console here and I would type it in and request removal. It then analyzes uh, that URL. You can see that in real time here and, and basically says, hey, we think the web page you're trying to remove hasn't been removed by the site owner. Before Google can remove it, uh, the site owner needs you to take down or update is correct. Have you done this? Yes, no. So I'm not submitting this one. This one's currently live. So this tutorial and trick will not work for live content. It's built for broken content or out of, uh, out of stock content for Amazon. So if you've got somebody who's got content up that you don't like, you have to get them to take it down before you can unindex it with Google. So if you have any uh, technical questions like this uh, related to Amazon, Google, your website, don't hesitate to leave a comment on this video. We'll answer those questions in a future video content. And if you need any Amazon consulting help, go on over to myamazonguy.com and contact us. We'll be happy to get in touch with you for a free quote. We do everything from SEO, keywords, PPC management, design is in-house, A-plus content, enhanced brand content, etc. So um, don't forget to like and subscribe for other technical how-to tutorials on all things e-commerce, Amazon, and otherwise. Thank you.